previous sequence showed what my new invention is about. But before I get into the details of my invention, let's take a look at my new design for a robust and attractive sport utility vehicle. Almost all cars are vulnerable to low vests and serial accidents, whether they have a rigid body or not. One of the most important risk factors for life in car accidents is the car overturning at high speed. Having an airbag cannot prevent life-threatening accidents. This made me decide to build a car that could have the highest safety in overturning. To achieve my goal, I divided the body and chassis of the car into three separate parts which are connected to each other by two shafts and a powerful hydraulic gear. I should mention that this system only works on fully electric cars that have separate motors in the front and rear of the car. Not using a drive shaft to transmit power helps us to design the rear and front engine separately. In doing this in this way, it's very complicated in gasoline cars. The next thing that was important to me was to keep the balance of the suppressed body while moving, especially on bends. To achieve this function, I designed several compact locks that work in two modes. One is locked mode when the bodies are connected, and the other is unlocked mode when the bodies are rotated. Let me take a look at the three separate bodies in my car. They are connected or disconnected by two main shafts and two large hydraulic gearboxes. In the front of the car, I designed an input between the two bodies to separate the steering column. In other words, the steering column will be automatically separated when the gear shaft is in the unlocked state and in the locked state, the inner part of the steering column is connected again to its outer part located in the hood of the car. In this way, the steering call is the switches between the two sets of connection and disconnection. This is done by a small electric motor located behind the steering column input. I designed a power input under the steering wall input. Through this input, the power stored in the batches located on the floor of the cabin is easily distributed to the front and rear bodies of the car. This power input is equipped with a small connection system and the power transfer terminals are also activated or deactivated when the gear lock is in active mode or not. 
The valuable point in this design is that when the cabin is in the fixed position, the possibility of battery damage is zero, because I believe that a good power source can be of great help to the car passenger even after an accident. As you can see in the video, when the gear lock is released, the shaft and gearbox are in a rotating state, and this helps keep the passenger cabin of the car in a fixed position. But when the gear is locked, the passenger cabin is connected to it, which is the normal and anti-roll over mode of the car. In this way, the car has sufficient bias on bends or road bumps. Activation and deactivation of the gear lock is done by small camera sensor located on the car cabin. When the car is one meter away from the ground, the height sensor gives the command to release the gear lock so that the car cabin does not roll over and remains fixed in place. Here you can see the roll-hour simulation test from different angles that I did which shows how useful the anti roll hour system is and prevents damage to the car body and also the risk of life of the car passengers. My name is Ali Pur Ahmad. Please respect the copyright of my ideas and do not use them without my permission. You can contact me via the email listed in the end credits of this video or in the description of my channel if you're interested in using and purchasing the right of my inventions. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.